The Raptor Unit are busy all year round, rescuing and rehabilitating birds as well as breeding those that are indigenous to Gibraltar. The team also track birds that fly over the rock into Europe for the summer months, as well as when they head back again for the winter. Some of them run into difficulties. They get attacked by local yellow gulls, they get attacked by local breeding peregrine falcons, and they get knocked down, where some of them fall into the sea, they are rescued there by the uh, essential services, or anybody that might be out there, they bring them to the centre, we uh, see what's wrong with them, if they've got broken bones or anything like that, take them to the vets, and then it's a rehab course. Once they are rehabilitated, and we can find out and assess that they can survive in the wild, or they're released back in the wild. Some of them are placed, uh, we, play, we are placing now GPS transmitters on them, and that has given us an incredible information. So what kind of things have you seen from these GPS transmitters that you've placed on other birds? Well, we've seen, for example, that they cross from here, say they, they, they're going to the winter quarters, they will cross over to Morocco, cross the Sahara and they can go right down to Gambia and Senegal and they're all the way back again. So the information that we're getting it's really valuable. And I believe you recently rescued and released a griffin vulture. Tell me about his story. Well this uh, griffin vulture obviously was mobbed and he fell into the sea and he was rescued by Mr Henshaw and his crew uh, on one of the pilot ships that, w that work in the bay. The bird was really, really tired, he was uh, dehydrated, he had a, a leg injury as well. And uh, once he was re um, rehabilitated, he was placed back into the world, he was released back into the world. And he's wearing a GPS transmitter as well. Oh, we go! You also nurture baby birds. You have some uh, baby partridges here, I believe. Tell me a bit about those. Well, that is the uh, Barbary Partridge project. We found out several years ago that the Barbary, uh, Barbary Partridge, sorry, was declining, and we set about having a, a breeding program, breed and release program. How successful has the program been? It's been very successful, very successful because I, I mean, uh, we had very, very few Barbary Partridges left. And now, I mean, practically, you can see them practically everywhere. Once big enough, these baby birds will be released into the wild and join the ever-growing local population of Barbary Partridges.